So Hurricane Ian has cut off Sanibel from the rest of Florida. A big section of that causeway that connects the island to land is wiped out. And how do you fix this? And how long does it take? Uh, we, we've seen some hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico that have cut off major routes like Interstate 15 that runs east-west there. Um, it, it, it's several months before you're able to get the Army Corps of Engineers in there and reestablish that connection. Holly Smith is the mayor of Sanibel, and she joins us by phone. Holly, we're sorry for what you're going through. Um, we hope that you are doing all right. And give us an assessment from your standpoint of what Sanibel is dealing with. Well, we are we are dealing with an unprecedented situation on our island. Um, we did everything that we could to prepare. Um, everything we could to get the word out to please evacuate. Uh, this ended up being absolutely the perfect storm that we had hoped that we would never see in our lifetime. And right now, um, we are on day two of daylight. We have our teams going out. The most important thing that we can do right now is get out for search and rescue. So boots were on the ground early yesterday morning going throughout the island doing wellness checks to see if people were okay to stay as we went to find more critical needs uh, throughout the island. That's continuing. Um, our, we're also doing starting our structural teams heading out there today. I'll be on the ground there today. I needed to make sure it was safe and make sure those first responders got out there first to help the people that are in need. Um, as you were saying, uh, we're cut off. Uh, and, and it is going to be a long-term recovery. But uh, I, I can tell you that I was on the phone with Governor DeSantis. I think they were already thinking several steps ahead. We are going to have the full support, but this is going to be a long road. Yeah, Mayor, how, boost from the, how, how, many people are, how many people are on the island still? I'm still, as we're speaking, I get text saying with new, pe with new people, hey, please come. And it's great that we're getting that information from all around. We estimated so far, and this list is growing, that about 200 households remained on the island. We don't know the number of people and pets that were in those, in those residences. We're getting that information as it comes through. So it's a pretty complex situation that we have. Well, they have a good leader in you, Mayor. Thank you for joining us today. We'll stay in touch. You can bet on that, okay? Thank you very much. All Appreciate right. it.